Back everyone. Hello, hello. It's me again, Risky Fisky. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I, I found something. I found, I found like a special guest that we could drag into our stage. Oh, well, maybe, maybe you can recognize her. Well, so please let's give a huge and warm and cozy and comfy applause to Kira Takanashi. Welcome. Kiki. Hi everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to this Q and A session. Hello, chat. I see you, Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I am a uh, Takanashi Kiara from Hololive English. Uh, for, first, I mean, there is not really officially there's no generations, but I'm uh, the first generation from Hololive Myth. And yeah, nice to meet you. Welcome and thank you for joining us here at Digicomi. Welcome, welcome. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pleasure to be here. I normally I'm not on Twitch. I'm normally on YouTube, but it's cool to be here. Thank you. Okay, so Twitch can be can count themselves lucky. <laughs> Let's mm -hmm. get a little bit of Kiara today as well, <laughs> so they don't have to like look over the board and say, ah, oh, it's all over on YouTube. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so Twitch Chan, you don't have to be uh, envious anymore. At least a little bit, <laughs> maybe still a bit, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. So um, I think well, most of you in the chat will know you. I I guess I think I would <laughs> I would recommend uh, uh, reckon so. Um, however, we pr um, prepared a little Q and A session today to yeah introduce you more to uh, our Dokumi audience to other. People who might not have known you yet, uh, but will know you afterwards, uh, which is one of the big purposes here on uh, Digicomi to introduce the awesome VTuber community. And mm -hmm. we uh, asked uh, ours and your community lots of questions and they were able to send them in. And this is what we prepared for today. Um, as many people might have just jumped in, uh, my name is Siski. I'm your host today here at Digicomi, Jim uh, Catboy. Welcome and nice to <laughs> meet you all. And I'm also very honored to meet you here. Uh, Kiara Chan. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Okay. It's, oh, well, uh, Tenchu. Tenchu is right, right? Oh, uh, yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> I have a lot of names. You can, most of my viewers uh, call me Tenchu, but not, mo I guess, yeah, not viewers often call me Kiara and then viewers call me Tenchu. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, Tenchu means um, like story manager in Japanese. And uh, they call me that because I uh, came to this world to, you know, open up a, a world-dominating fast food chain, which <gasps> is KFP. We call it KFP. It stands for Kiara Fried Phoenix. And therefore, because we started small, uh, they started calling me a store manager, Tencho. But honestly, I'm, I'm, I am much more than just a Tencho now. I'm more than a store manager now. I manage like so many employees all over the world. It's quite a tough job. Mm -hmm. I think so. And by the way, as a capitalist cat boy, I do appreciate that. Please be very successful with opening many stores. Mm, this is a this is a way to go. <laughs> <laughs> so you do a lot of stuff, right? I mean, um, what uh, do you do next to next to, um, yeah, keeping track of your empl employees and all the other stores? But uh, I mean, you do stream a lot, so what can you do? Ah, yeah, well, there? yeah. So um, I uh, stream on YouTube almost daily. Uh, I play like lots of games, uh, actually a lot of RPG games, uh, as well as games like Minecraft and sometimes some Super Mario games <laughs> and uh, also um, Among Us, Among Us, stuff <laughs> like that. And um, I also make music. I uh, released uh, two original singles. Uh, one is Hinodori and one is Heart Challenger. And I also uh, do a lot of song covers on the side as well that are not my originals. Yeah, stuff like that. And then uh, also lots of collaborations here and there. But yeah, I'm, I do that. And then I'm, I'm also a part-time warrior officially. <laughs> oh. Part-time warrior, but I don't get to do much fighting these days, uh, which is actually... I'm quite happy about it because I've been doing that a lot in my past lives as a phoenix. I get reborn a lot, so um, I've I've had to go through 
a lot of uh, battles and, and wars until now, but <laughs> now I'm just, you know, low-key chilling as a uh, as a part-time warrior and and Tenjo, of I'm course. Busy Tenjo, though. I be, okay, if you do mm. so much, I'm very busy Tenjo. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> that is true, yeah. <laughs> then I would say, let's also jump right into the, the questions we receive from your community and uh, maybe to um, uh, expand the introduction a little bit. Um, you are also part of the, yeah, whole life. Um, uh, mm -hmm. um, how do you call it? Um, uh, member, member, uh, you are a member of, of, of whole life in, in general. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Which is a yeah Japanese group of of YouTubers, part of the English speaking squad, which makes sense as we are today in the English uh, speaking stream over here <laughs> at Digicomi. Um, so, but as far as I know, or but as far as we have heard so far, um, you debuted um, in September, right? Yes, uh, that is eight months ago, approximately. Yeah, um, whole life English doesn't exist that long yet her life of japan was the first branch mm -hmm. after that uh they also opened up her life indonesia but then uh recently they decided to make her life english and i auditioned for it and then was so lucky to be accepted and and uh, be one of the five members to debut uh in this little group on the on the 12th september it was i think yeah mm. oh so this also brings us to the first question. Um, how was it for you to be part of the first generation of Hololife EN? And mm. how did the last eight months feel like? It was very exciting in the beginning. It was crazy. Like there was so much excitement um, about our debuts because um, like b around that time, it is when, uh, or like a little bit before that time, is when Hololife really started getting a lot of attention uh, overseas outside of Japan and started gaining a lot of viewers from overseas. And then the timing was just so perfect for us to uh, debut. And I think uh, everyone was like really, really excited about it to see whole life English become a reality. And yeah, just like us, we were very nervous. We didn't really know what was gonna like happen, how people were gonna you know, react to us if they were, to, were going to accept us. I personally thought that we wouldn't be successful at all. I, I wasn't the only one in our group. Um, I thought that we would only get a few viewers. Uh, uh, yeah, but but it was a pos positive, very positive reaction, very positive surprise. Um, but uh, it was also very hard to... Um, it just to uh, hello cat. It just to suddenly having so much. Um, oh my god, my cats. Oh, <laughs> fun fact. Fun fact. I also have my cat She's just saying, sleeping behind me. <laughs> She's saying hello to you. <laughs> yeah, she probably saw a cat. But I was like, oh, what's that dude doing? Gonna do there? <laughs> hello. How, how did the, how did the people in the chat know that that was Chonkers? I have two cats, and they they know it was Chonkers. Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> they, can, they can tell by the meow? Oh my god. Mm, I think they're just randomly guessing. They don't really know. <laughs> so anyway, um, back on topic. Um, it, I was I was having a little bit of a hard time in the beginning adjusting. Um, because suddenly having so many eyes on you does put a lot of pressure on you. Uh, if you're not so used to it. And... Um, uh, I also had a lot of technical problems in the beginning. <laughs> like my my computer wasn't really the best, and my microphone was kind of shitty. My internet was shitty, and yeah, all sorts of problems that yeah were like trying to uh, sabotage me, and that was quite troublesome. But nowadays everything's like calmed down. I found my place. I found um. I found like I, I got all the all the good equipment now. <laughs> it was just um, quite quite a long time of of scuff and suffering, yeah, suffering. that one has to go through. But now now I'm doing fine. <laughs> now the suffering is hopefully ended at least in the technical part. And uh, I think it's, it, this is actually a, a challenge many many VTubers have in the beginning. And uh, quite frankly, CPU. Mm. <laughs> Mm. You, oh my god, it it takes so much of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I mean, I it wasn't much so much the c CPU. Like it was like a lot of a lot of factors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and luckily, um, you were able to from the beginning on escape the zero Vera trap. So this is this is good. This is what 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 <laughs> what trap? The the zero Vera trap. It's like um something ah. many uh, streamers struggle with in the very 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 beginning. So ah, yeah. having no viewers. Oh uh, yeah. Mm, that is something I, I talked about with my viewers every now and then as well. But, uh, I don't know, that 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 is in in, in some way, of course, a very good thing. And in uh, on another side, like, having a debut stream being watched by 70,000 or 80,000 people wow. um, is just very pressuring. Like, <laughs> you, I've... When you mess up, then everyone sees it and will never forget. Wow. And they they all are watching and making an opinion about you. And it's a very, very important moment. So, uh, yeah, that was, that, was, that was very nerve-wracking to have so many people watch. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm very thankful for having that opportunity because all of that, of course, is thanks to Whole Life. Because Whole Life is such a, a big, big, big company um that already has a lot of very successful vtubers so thanks to that uh i was able to have such receive such a huge audience mm -hmm. that's absolutely amazing and I, actually i didn't know that yet <laughs> so far but wow seventy thousand for debut is absolutely mind-blowing so oh yeah i think it was that. something around that around the in my first debut um <laughs> we had something around that i think yeah as wow. far as i remember <laughs> wow, and I think you also had like a, um, so not a debut of course, but like a, a reveal stream for your new outfits at, at uh, Holo AN. Oh yeah, that was yeah. quite recent, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm using my normal outfit today, but we have uh, we recently re received new casual outfits, which are all super, super cute. And that was also, uh, got a lot of, a lot of attention. Those kind of event streams are huge and crazy. It's really exciting for everyone. And, and my heart was just racing so freaking fast that it, I was, I thought, you know, I thought that after a couple of months, after over half a year, I got used to all of this and I'm not nervous anymore. But doing that new outfit reveal, I felt maybe even more nervous as I did uh, back in the day on the first uh, stream. Yeah. <laughs> also, I saw that... Uh... I think it was also a cat girl outfit, uh, which I, as a cat boy, appreciate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's and that is just more like an accessory. The main uh, outfit is just like a summer outfit with a straw hat, super cute. But I also got cat ears as an accessory. They're really, really fluffy and twitchy, twitchy. Yeah, yeah. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a cat girl phoenix. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, officially, <laughs> but I will always be a phoenix no matter what the people say. Uh, okay. I am a phoenix. It doesn't matter if I have uh, cat ears on um, or if my people call me chicken or whatever <laughs> oh, they mean. call me. Don't do that. Yeah, that's Don't really do mean. That. That go. No, you're not a chicken. No, 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 no. You are beautiful, Thank happy, you. pretty. Phoenix. Mm. Thank you. I have to. I have to. I don't know if the viewers hear it, but uh, my neighbors started drilling for some reason <laughs> right now. So sorry if you hear that. They stopped again, but they they might start again. Sorry. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> at least at least I cannot hear you, and I hope it goes for the chat as well. So I guess. I hope so. Too. I didn't understand. Um, if it was kind of German holiday right now, so at least it would be surprised if over here they would be drilling. But well, uh, today's a yeah. holiday. Uh, yeah, Fink Fingston right now, it's on, in Germany. Oh, Fingston is today, oh! Yeah, White Sunday. <laughs> normally, Dokumi is always on, on Fingston, White Sunday, and, uh, but oh. normally this, this time of the year, Dokumi would have happened, but uh, for, well, some reasons I don't know yet, but probably because it's raining today here, uh, they decided to move it to later. So. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that it was always on Fingston. <laughs> oh ah. my god, stop drilling! Come on, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so... But we come to that maybe a bit later as well. So mm. um, uh, the second question that came from your um, audience was, uh, and we kind of already scratched on the topic a bit, but maybe you can go into more detail that, of that. Mm. What were your first challenges as a streamer VTuber? You mentioned uh, uh, the big pressure at one point, technical issues as well. So um, what, were you, what were you thinking about the first challenges you had as when starting out? 
Yeah, definitely the the technical challenges were the biggest problem, and I guess also maybe trying to find like in a group of five girls where everyone is so 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 talented, and, and each member has uh, kind of their specialty. Like Ina um, is one of the members of my generation. Ina is really good at drawing. It's very obvious to see that Kuda is super good at singing, singing very obviously, and you know everyone just has something really really. Like, you look at them, you watch your debut stream, and you're like, yes, that's it. But for me, I mean, I kind of thought that... Mm, I I was like... I had some obvious talent as well, maybe, but... Mm, I don't know, I started struggling with that. Um, especially because my biggest t skill, I guess, uh, would have been my language skills because um, I my first language is German, indeed, and my second okay. language is English, and my third language is Japanese. I speak fluent Japanese, wow. and um, I was trying to combine that into my streams to you know have be be some sort of a, a bridge between the English audience and the Japanese audience, oh, um, I and I, I do have. Um, I, when I started out with Hello Life English, I w still lived in Japan, and I do have a, a big heart, a big love for my Japanese audience. So I wanted to include them and have have you know international fans all over the world. And however, that kind of like gave me a little bit of a disadvantage in the beginning because people didn't like it that much. So that was a, uh, maybe a big, big struggle in the beginning. Finding a balance and finding my audience, finding the people who accept um, who I am and and like me for what I am and support me for that. But I think we found a good balance and now I'm using those skills, for example, for stuff like uh, Holotalk. I'm, I have ah. this little project. I don't know if you heard about it, but I have this project, this talk show called Holotalk. Where I interview my fellow Japanese members, um, uh, and and since they don't speak English, I translate everything that they say on the spot, and therefore I am once again uh, kind of achieving the goal of becoming the bridge uh, between those two communities, and uh, you know spreading knowledge about the Japanese VTubers that the English audience loves so much but cannot really understand that much. Yeah. Hmm. That is true indeed. I like mm. the thought of, of uh, this bridge because, well, at least from, from the Dokumi team, it's very similar to bring Japan and Germany together. It's kind of one of the main mm. missions of the convention to create a bridge. So I really, really appreciate this, this mindset and to yeah make this possible. To connect is so important, especially nowadays, to connect people instead of separate them. So we are all one big family. And we, if we build more <laughs> bridges, then we can get more closely together, which is beautiful <laughs> yeah <laughs> i agree yeah uh talking a bit to uh, about your your community um i mean i see them very active in the chat already so <laughs> 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 welcome everyone um do you have a special name for your fans i know that now that uh the fans have a special name or special names for you um <laughs> so do you do you fans have a special name as well yeah, um, they are like they're called KFP. Like as a community, community they're called KFP. Um, uh, but they're also actually all chickens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cute! But wait, yeah. wait, you don't fry mm. them, do you? No, no, probably not. Well, I mean, KFP stands for Kiara Fried Phoenix. Ah. So I. You, you gotta be careful here. Don't ask too many questions. But okay. Um, okay. <laughs> I know this is a Q and A, but don't ask too many questions. <laughs> okay. My I viewers think... are chickens, and uh, uh, you you also see it I, um, in the in the YouTube membership badges that I have. Like if you join the membership, then you get a little badge. You start out as an egg, and then after a month, you start hatching, and then you you're completely out of your egg at, at some point, and you're a little chicken, and then you turn into a big chicken, a fluffy white chicken. And then it continues, uh, but we don't, we, we're not, we're not that far yet, so we, we don't talk about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I love that idea. Oh, oh I want to check out the cute chicken then. Oh, <laughs> tiny, tiny chickies. Is it, mm. is it actually common for VTubers to have nicknames for their fans? Or? Yeah, definitely. I think 
it's kind of a tradition as well that pe when when VTubers have a debut stream that they um, decide on a on a fandom name. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I I kind of uh, I guess the fandom name would be KFB, yeah. And uh, also every every one of my little chickens automatically signs a contract that they are uh, working for me for KFB because obviously I want to be the the number one fast food chain all over the world if we're not already already uh, achieving that. I mean, hello, KFP is the best. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're all working for me. And the funny thing is, I mean, I don't think it's that funny. I think it's 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 just it's just a given. But um, I don't pay them salaries. Uh, I mean, th there there is a salary, but the salary is that. They pay their salary to me because I am the I think that's just obvious. I don't know why other employers do it the other way around. That's just not smart. I mean, how are you gonna have a successful business with stonks if you pay your employees? It just doesn't make sense. Then you're only losing money. But if you let them pay you, then that's big brain strategy. Yes, yes. But they all know that when they're joining the same. Sometimes, sometimes here, see, they're complaining, but. I don't understand why they're complaining. They, they know what they got themselves into. And also, they're not, they're not starving or anything. They can eat from the food from KFP all the time. Sometimes they refuse it. So, some of them refuse it. And, and they're, they're like, when I tell them to just eat the food at KFP, their faces get like really, really like blue, whitish. And then they're like, no, 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 no. I can't do that. I don't understand. They, should just, they, keep, they keep on complaining. It's ridiculous. Yeah. My, my capitalist cat boy heart goes all doki doki of this amazing big brain uh, business strategy. <laughs> I, uh, if, if it's okay, Thank you. Do, can, I, Thank can you. I copy this for, for uh, uh, strategic uh, business uh, development? Sure, as, as long as you don't open up a fast food chain I with won't. that strategy, because then you we would be rivals. And you then I would that. have to do something about you to make you disappear. Oh, mm. yeah. I, I don't want that. So that's, I'm just okay. going to use a different branch for. Very the well. Business. Do, doing doing business, ne? Ne, and strongs, I like strongs. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're Don't in true tension, do and I, uh, I, um, I respect that. I respect that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You should be respecting that. <laughs> ah. um, talking a bit like on a further extension of the of the um, uh, fan community, but also the general VTuber community. Um, would you say that? You are in, in part maybe also a role model for the, for example, German-speaking video community or the English-speaking uh, video community. Would you oh. see yourself as something like this? I mean, for the for the German-speaking VTuber community, I'm not so sure about it. I mean, I would be honored to be um, viewed as a role model, but I don't really do German streams because I am from Hello Live English, so my main language is supposed to be English. Um, but I know that the German VTuber community is like still growing slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. um, and I do have quite a big German audience as well, German speaking audience. So that I am very, very happy about. And I also um, did some like German, German, te German language teaching streams before and also a, a German re debut, <laughs> which, is, which was uh, just. <laughs> Uh, yeah, another one of my debut streams. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, it would be cool, but I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say that I am a role model for them. I mean, uh, th that would be something that they would have to decide and tell me. I I personally don't see myself like that. Uh, but I I wish I wish the community best to stuff luck, and I hope I can support them somehow. Mm. I definitely yeah do think that's definitely the case in, in some uh, one form mm. or another. Uh, and, and definitely see that there are a lot of um or well, a lot of VTubers looking up to you and I I just enjoy uh yeah this community growing together and indeed indeed the German community has grown has been growing fast um over the past months I would say mm. where, where the English community has really skyrocketed uh, over the last year this might be coming on now to Germany as well and. Uh, well, mm. as a German convention, I guess we kind of like to see that. <laughs> yeah, I've been seeing a lot of uh, independent German VTubers coming out of the shadows, as well as English ones, of course. It's like really booming right now. It's crazy to see. Mm. Yeah, and exciting. It's so exciting, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really cool to see. <laughs> a rising tide raises all the ships. That's what we kind of like to say here. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> Ooh, getting deep. <laughs> <laughs> Ha. Huh. 
So, um, yeah, de definitely very interesting to, to hear of this perspective in this regard. Um, I mean, we kind of already talked about that, but uh, as it's also a question um, in, mm. in the sheet, uh, I would also like to ask you, in addition to German language, you also speak English and Japanese, as you already told us. How does this affect your streams? You already told us how it affected them in the first place. Maybe people were a bit confused about that. Yeah. But now you kind yeah. of yeah, teach it. To, so that it does affect your stream, uh, streams nowadays that you... No, so many yeah, I, I would say, I mean, I, I definitely kind of uh, mm, speak less Japanese than I used to uh, eight months ago uh, in my streams. But I still mix it in every now and then. And my Japanese audience is uh, very happy about that. They say that uh, it's it's like out of whole life English, uh, my stream is kind of the easiest to watch, obviously, because they don't speak much English, but I repeat some things, some important things every now and then in Japanese. And yeah, also um, the fact that I can speak fluent Japanese gives me the opportunity to, um, you know, collab with my Japanese senpais oh. as much as I want with anyone without having any communication problems. And that is really cool because I um, was, a, was a fan of her life before I joined her life. I'm a big oh. fan. And then joining and being able to um, communicate with them directly, and 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 being like kind of kind of their equal um, is is really cool and really exciting to do all these collaborations. Mm, having a lot of fun with that. Like a dream coming true, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. To be honest, I when I was a fan, it was never a dream for me to be part of it. I never really saw that um, as. It's something I wanted to do until I saw the audition a bit late, by the way. I didn't see it right away. <laughs> um, but when I saw it, I was like, okay, I never thought of it this way, but maybe I should try it out because it probably would be quite fitting to, you know, my talents and my skills and, and what I want to do. Mm. So it did work out pretty well, but it, it wasn't necessarily like a dream came true because I never really dreamed about it until I was in the dream. <laughs> Ah, so you kind of, um, okay, sorry, getting cheesy here. You woke up in a dream and realized it came true. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was a, a huge blessing. I'm, I'm really, really fortunate to, you know, be part of Whole Life English and be accepted into this beautiful community. Mm. Like a family. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we're definitely a family. Home Life uh, has a, a decent amount of members, but I do feel like we are all just a big, somewhat big family. Mm, it's <laughs> you can still like o o oversee it quite well, and and I remember everyone's names, and, mm, and we are all very friendly to one another. I don't really see them as rivals. I see them all as friends and family. This is <clears> actually <throat> something that I kind of witnessed so far in the VTuber community in general. That's like. It's a very, very wholesome community, and uh, I was I really have to say I I I honor that and I appreciate that uh, a lot um, because especially in those hard times that we had over the past months and maybe one or two years, this was really refreshing to see people just coming all together um, in a very cute way, and that's also why I like the personally the, the indie community very much. It's all so damn wholesome. Lovely, mm -hmm. so lovely. <laughs> yeah, I I see that the independent, especially the independent ones, are like all collaborating so much with one another. It's it's uh, like a like a big big party going on all the time, constantly, twenty four seven. Mm. Yeah, it's it's like very friendly, everyone, and that's really nice to see. Constant beat you by party. I I like that. I like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, what is your favorite aspect about streaming? Mm, that I can communicate with my audience uh, because I, I love them so, 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 so much. I, I really, really just every, every single one of them has a, a huge, huge big spot in my heart. And, and they kind of like saved me. So I'm, I'm really Aww. thankful for them to spend their time with me. So really communicating with them is uh, one of my favorite aspects uh, as well as 
um, being able to show my skills and my talents, such as uh, singing and drawing and uh, communication itself, is a skill as well. I must say. Yes. Um, so yeah, showing, being able to show it, like in, in a different job, like the jobs I like, I, I did some like I guess normal jobs before, and I couldn't really showcase my skills there. Uh, my create creativity was kind of. Um, thrown in the trash there, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so having uh, a job where I can live all of those uh, skills and, 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 and talents out the way I want is um, really cool. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, that. And also, uh, mm, I just really, I just really enjoy having a job where I can uh, plan everything myself and and decide what what I oh my god decide what I'm doing by myself and <laughs> um be be just uh very independent even though I'm I'm not an independent beater but I'm part of my life I still feel like I can be very independent and creative with whatever I'm doing. That's amazing. That's really amazing, and I also like to hear that that uh, you have so much freedom in your in your choices there and to. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. create the content you like and you love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The biggest thing is though really to be able to connect with so many people and 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 just just exchange views on things, exchange opinions, and have fun together. Make fun memories while playing games, especially like when I play RPG games. I'm not experiencing it alone in silence. I'm experiencing it with so many people. And, and they're also helping me out when I suck at a game. But also, you know, when there's like emotional moments in the game or dramatic moments, everyone's like suffering together, <laughs> crying together, laughing together. And that's just when the community feels like, like we are all, all one. Mm. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, oh. So also, do you have any, any goals that you wish to achieve as a VTuber? Like uh, anything mm. that you say... I want to have. I want to do at least that one at least during my time. In yeah. Uh, I in my debut stream I stated a bunch of goals and uh, most of them I actually already achieved. I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Such as um, releasing original music. I did that. Yeah. Uh, uh, what else did I do? Did I say I wanted to do? <laughs> I forgot. There were so many goals. I uh, reaching a certain amount of subscribers. That was that was reached. Probably as well, uh, or like being part of a, a convention as I ah, am today. Yes. yes, that was also one of my goals. Mm. Or like collab, yeah, collabing with my senpais. I did do that too. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of go goals, and uh, 3D debut is one of my coming up goals that I have not achieved yet. I, uh, we start out in whole life. Uh, in general, everyone in whole life starts out with a, a live 2D model. And then after a certain time, everyone is pretty much guaranteed to receive a 3D model from the company. Um, but um, it, it's it's a bit difficult, of course, right now because of um, the, the C thing, you know, that has been... <laughs> Uh, r yeah, really uh, nope. annoying uh, in the past few months. Yes. Um, but I am still very hopeful that uh, we can make it happen, and I'm looking forward to it. And once I'm 3D, I want to do like a like a concert in oh. 3D with like dance my own own songs with a choreography. That is one thing one thing that I definitely want to do, and I'm really really looking forward to that to doing that in 3D. And then once I'm 3D, uh, in that 3D. I would like to perform at a convention again and then, mm. you know, do it like, you know, Hatsune Miku, for example. You know, those oh. Hatsune Miku concerts where she's like on the screen in 3D. That's amazing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Have yep. you seen that? Yeah, I've been to Miku mm. Expo uh, twice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So doing something like that would be super, super awesome. Maybe not only alone, but also maybe with all of the whole life English girls oh, doing like a like, like a tour epic. all over the world, an international tour in 3D. That would be so dope. Yeah, so hopefully we can make that happen. And I, of course, want to um, release more music. More, more, more. Because I am... Um, I personally see myself quite focused on music. Um, whole life English is like generally just like... 
streamer gamer group kind of and mm -hmm. we are we, there's like an upcoming um v singer we had auditions for v singer which would be specifically focusing on on singing at activities but i myself see uh myself as as quite focused on music um just on my own like um, as i said we can pretty much decide how we want to do our activities what we want to focus on and i is i'm quite focused on music so i want to do more of that hmm I like that. I like that, especially um, this. Is, that was something we also noticed um, uh, after the announcement. That um, and that was the point that we, uh, you know, that the whole Dukumi team really thought to be a super, super wholesome feedback. That so many of your your employees, so to say, your, your fans, um, mm. commented that um, yeah, they really uh, cheered for you that you could achieve at least one of your your goals mm -hmm. already in also such a short time to be part of a convention. Um, so that is absolutely mm. amazing and was so, so sweet to read. So let's go down to the chat. You guys are really, really a great bunch of people. <laughs> and to me, it's um, even more special that it's not just some random convention from somewhere in the world, but it's first of all uh, a German convention. And, you know, German is my, my first language, so it feels very special to me. And second of all, uh, it being Dokomi, is also makes it even better for me because I love Dokomi. I've been there before. So yeah, it's it's like the the best the best thing that could happen. Mm. As a as the first uh um appearance that I achieve, it being a German convention from Dokomi. Perfect, perfect. That's what I wanted. I honestly have a little bit of a tear in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm very, 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 very happy to hear that and uh, <laughs> Yeah, and I hope we can definitely arrange it somehow that you can also join uh, one day Dukumi in, in the physical I hope form. so. Yeah. I hope yeah. so. You see, it just feels like, like home because normally I always speak English and I most of my viewers, I guess, come from North America and that region. But um, being able to, to connect with people from home, I mean, Germany is not really my home, but it feels like closer to my home there and then... A certain other places so it's just it's just really really uh um it it really it relieves me it makes me happy it's like home it's like seeing uh people who understand my language and and my way of thinking and my personality and all that and yeah mm. yes and also love how the chat is going on right now because it's yeah so 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 lovely to hear and uh <laughs> yeah, let's let's come back to my show. Ne? Let's make that happen. Let's work on that uh, to make uh, even more more amazing. I mean, it's already amazing to can be part of uh, Digicomi in this uh, virtual, uh, well, not virtual, digital convention, mm. um, which is well the most we can just do as as it is right now. But hopefully, hopefully we can work something uh, out for maybe August or maybe next year, depending on. Dokomi, what dokomi. <laughs> No, I must I must say that I, I think it's really cool that um Digicomi has or Dokomi has uh, picked up on VTubers this much because I don't um I don't think ever, I mean okay there's not many conventions going on right now to begin with but I've heard from some um other conventions that they don't really know about VTubers so they're not really including them in their program yet but I think it's a Right now, it's also probably a pretty smart business decision to use VTubers. First of all, we don't have to travel to that country. We can just, we, we're in the virtual world. So, mm -hmm. picking us, we can come join your convention no matter where we are and where you are. It's pretty smart. And I think VTubers are really um, pop getting popular at, or are popular right now. So, um, I think it's cool that Dokomi was so open to uh, do. A convention that is so focused on VTubers. Mm. Yes, I will definitely forward this message to the Dokumi team, to Dokumi Tachi. <laughs> <laughs> I really agree. I think it's especially as it's such a wholesome community in, in the realm of otaku communities like cosplayers and, um, I don't know, artists, uh, made cafe, maids. I mean, there's lots of stuff going on at Dokumi, but uh, it's really nice to see another so wholesome co uh, community be included. And mm. that's definitely feels like the right timing there so yeah uh, that's uh they, they should do good to uh continue that i would say <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. so um also uh 
because you don't want to miss out any questions in this regard. And again, thank you so much for this uh, amazing, amazing, uh, feels like a very rewarding uh, uh, um, mission. Wait, no. I'm out, sorry. <laughs> no problem. I'm not shaking too much of this, this uh, awesomeness over here. Um, yeah, it's really definitely a, a, a good mission to, to put forward to. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. Um, so I have one more, more personal or specific question. Uh, as you are a phoenix, how does it feel to be reborn? <laughs> uh, it, honestly, it doesn't feel so good uh, because when I get reborn, um, up until now recently, um, up until now, I, I would be reborn in a totally different world, a uh, different dimension. And and then just have nothing on me and no memory either. I usually lose my memory of what happened before, but I regain it after some time. But it's quite tough. And uh, just suddenly being somewhere else, not knowing who you are, where you came from. And often it's worlds where other phoenixes don't exist. Uh, really kind of weird situations that I'm getting myself into. Um, it's quite tough. Uh, but after, like, uh, I was reborn in this world... Um, I actually already died a few times, as my KFP uh, <laughs> chickens know. <laughs> and even then, recently I've started being reborn in the same world. Maybe, maybe it is the bond that I have with Callie and that I don't want to leave her. Because Callie Aww. is one of my gen mates and she's um, in this world right now. And I don't want to lose her anymore because I've been like trying to meet up with her again and again. Because, okay, and we need to explain this a little bit. She's a, she's a reaper. She used to be a reaper. She was taking souls. She was a Shinigami. Oh. And, uh, and so I would meet her every time that I would die. Uh, but only for a short time because I had to be reborn immediately, pretty soon. We only only had uh, some time for some tea every now and then in the underworld. But that was really short and I wanted to spend more time with her. So finally now we're in the same world. But uh, yeah, I still got reborn and then I lose my memory. Like there was a, there's, there was a time a few months ago where I forgot about Kelly. And that was, I feel really sorry about it. It's, 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 it's not so nice, but... Yeah. <laughs> lucky, lucky you have several lives. Uh, as a cat, I can relate to that because I've already lost <laughs> two of my nine lives to very oh, stupid shit. reasons. But <laughs> oh, yeah, be, yeah, but, be careful, be careful. You don't have unlimited lives like yes, I do. Yes, yes. And, uh, uh, so this, I'm gonna be careful, but also it's good that you're still with us even after. Reborn, yeah, so. I'll try to stay alive as long as possible this time. I really, I really don't want to be reborn again. It's annoying. It's uh, every time the same thing. Mm. <laughs> also, also not good for business. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, I, they would probably. <laughs> uh, I'll go, although, um, they would probably be fine because I, I gave uh, Ina another genmate of mine. I gave her the, the uh, role uh, that if I die or if I disappear, that she should take care of KFP. <laughs> Okay, okay. At least as you follow up, but still, <laughs> still, please stay among us. Uh, we I'll you. try. I'll try. <laughs> also, maybe fitting to the next next question. Maybe you have already answered that indirectly. I don't know. But uh, do you have a favorite VTuber? Oh, oh, oh! Yes, I do. And uh, it, it was uh, probably very obvious in the beginning. <laughs> I was quite the fan girl. I calmed down a little bit, but um, I'm a huge fan of Usada Pekora. And oh. I don't know if you know her. She's also yes. from whole life Japan. Mm -hmm. mm. Pekora. Peko Peko. <laughs> yeah. And uh, also uh, Fubuki Senpai is also also from whole life. They are my... Uh, it's more like Fubuki Senpai is like my role model. And Pekora Senpai is the one that I'm simping for. She's, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's my, my idol. She's so cute. She's so funny. She's a great entertainer. Both of them are, to be honest. But yeah, those two, I would say. Mm, I love them. Hi, hi. Or do I, when, I, <laughs> when anyone uses the word simping, I'm always wondering, well, do people actually know what the meaning of this word is? <laughs> well, mm, but I know to be what honest, it's... I picked it up, I picked it up uh, through, you know, Home Alive, to be ah, honest. Um, okay, okay. It, 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 it see, it, at least in, in, on YouTube, uh, in, in the Home Alive community, it seems to be an accepted word. I think it's Wait, definitely is, is it definitely has changed. Well... Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna say what it uh what. what oh wait, is it is it is it is it oh, oh, oh is it Yabai on Twitch? Oh no no, that's uh, well uh, that's a topic, but <laughs> um uh, just just the overall meaning <gasps> of the word. So I I wonder uh, if maybe I will write you the direct 
Well, I, I, maybe let's oh, do that. I, 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 was, I was just saying, I was only, I was saying sh shrimp. You know, I was talking about shrimps. Shrimps, shrimps. Oh, shrimps yeah, the shrimps, yeah. Shrimps. Oh, oh, I love shrimps. I, I love shrimps. Mm. <laughs> Tessie, <laughs> see, so, this is the problem. Of, this is the problem when I go from YouTube to Twitch. I don't really know what, what you guys do here. I don't know the, the rules here and the culture. Oh my God. Hell, ah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all right. It's all right. I didn't worry about that too much, but uh, more about the, the uh, literal translation. But uh, maybe, maybe I can uh, okay. educate you about this maybe later on or so i i don't know it's again totally fine because uh yeah the actual i think it's being used in a very positive way nowadays oh, so uh. that's <laughs> just here to see if you uh, know the literal okay <laughs> okay also maybe an another question that many of the viewers uh uh, might care out about maybe especially from the from the vtuber community what do you think about the indie vtuber community uh, to be honest, I don't really have much time to watch other VTubers at all these days. Not even move from her life. I don't have much time to mm -hmm. uh, catch up with them either. But um, so I don't really. I, I know about a lot of their existences, but I don't really watch them. I guess uh, just because lack of time. And I, I myself stream like six to eight hours per day. I do really long streams. But um, I I really like how everyone has such 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 adorable creative designs. Everyone looks so cute. They have a they have a lot of freedom with what they're doing, and I I there's a, a small part of me that envies that a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really cool. They 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 must know that um I I uh I, I do envy them a little bit a little bit. <clears throat> but uh yeah, I think they're all doing a great great job, you know, now that it's kind of like just really hard to stand out. Uh but but because there's so many new VTubers coming and debuting every day, uh, it must be really tough. But I'm see I see them a lot popping up on my Twitter and uh, they all look super cute. I I wish them the best. Mm. <laughs> Okay, this message is all for you guys out there, trying your best to, yeah, uh, do the best featuring content out there. Kara supports you. Kara supports you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> also, as, as we are like kind of part of an, of an anime convention, are you an anime fan too or do you watch anime? I used to be super um, ad addicted to anime, I guess. Oh, okay, I'm maybe not super addicted. I was very into anime back in the days. Um, I watched a lot of anime, uh, like, uh, my favorite one is Bakemonogatari. <clears throat> oh. And, uh, also, I guess, one of my other favorite ones was, um, Toadu Kagaku no Railgun, a certain scientific railgun. Mm -hmm. And, uh, stuff like Working, Minamike, Nijijo, uh, Tengen Topaguren Lagan, uh, Stein, Steins Gate, which is by my papa, by the way, my artist, uh, oh. Papa, who designed me, is the one who uh, is behind the designs of uh, Steins Gate and Black Rock Shooter, by the way. Oh. Just, just just showing off my papa a little bit here. <laughs> gotta, gotta show some appreciation. Hukepapa! Me too! You're probably not watching, but yeah. Also, Kanagi. Kanagi is a really old one, but I love it. Mm. So recently, maybe you see, you hear it from the animes that I mentioned that I am not really, really up to date. I don't, I don't watch much anime anymore. <laughs> uh, don't really have the time. I, I uh, and kind of maybe a little bit lost uh, the the interest and the passion in it. Uh, unfortunately, I watch more like like r no normal real life series mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, Game of Thrones stuff like ah. that. <laughs> oh, I love that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who doesn't? Ah, yeah. Especially the books are just awesome. <laughs> um, mm. also, oh, I didn't read them. I don't read books. <laughs> oh, oh, I really, 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 really recommend that. But maybe for no another time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's time consuming after all. It's many, many mm -hmm. books. It's not even finished yet. Please. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but do you have also a favorite anime or manga character? Character? Uh, in Bakemonokatari, my favorite one would, I guess, be uh, Nadeko. Nadeko. Do you know her? I don't know her. I still have to watch it. <laughs> you didn't watch Bakemonokatari? Shame on me. <laughs> oh my god. Shame. Kling -a -ling shame. Kling -a -ling shame. <laughs> Game of Thrones here. <laughs> 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 then watch it. Back in the morning, I tell you, it's like 
you you have to watch it. It's so good. It has like such a such an intricate story, such a deep story. So much like so much deep story. Like each character, there's so many characters, and each one is very important. Each one has a lot of backstory to them. It's so much personality, and it's it's really interesting. You just can't get enough of it. There's a lot of seasons, and it just gets more deeper and deeper and deeper. Watch it, watch it. It's so good. Ah, la, la, la. I'm still waiting for a new se season, but yeah, please watch it. It's so good. I love it. I promise now I will watch it and hopefully until the next time uh, when we when we meet again then I uh, hopefully can tell you well I've been a good cat boy I watch it. Uh huh. Watch it. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully <laughs> then you'll tell me who your favorite character is yes, from Bakemonogatari. <laughs> yes, I've got a mission now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Homework. Okay. As you only have a, a few minutes left for the for the uh, last questions. Um, yeah, baby. Okay, speed uh, round, speed round, speed quiz. Yes. Um, so, which are your favorite countries? Which and uh, which one would you still like to visit? Uh obviously Japan would be one of them. Um, I visited quite a, a lot of countries in Europe, obviously because it's so easy when you live in Europe to visit a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, I, I used to visit Italy and Germany a lot. I've been to Spain. Uh, I've been to... Uh, uh, oh, okay. Well, um, not part of the EU anymore, but <laughs> UK. Uh, the UK once. I want to go there again, though. Um, probably UK back. would be one of the, one of the uh, countries that I want to visit. As well as like Finland, for example, or or no 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 Norwegian, no Norwegia, or how you say it? <laughs> Australia, <laughs> though the fake, you know, I live in Australia, wink. And <laughs> but the fake Australia down there that's not surrounded by any countries but only ocean. How boring! Yeah. I would love to visit Australia. <laughs> Uh, and because the, the people there are so nice. I have a bunch of viewers uh, in Australia. Quite a lot, actually, because I used to, um, I used when I lived in Japan, I used to stream in a time zone mostly that was really ah, good for them. Makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and they seem like really cool people. Also, New Zealand. Want to visit New Zealand? And I kind of want to maybe go to America again at some point, but also Canada because the Can Canadians. I heard that they're so 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 sweet. I have such a good image of the Canadians. I there's so many, so many, so many uh, places I still want to go to. Um, yeah. Mm, gotta, gotta make a big world tour sometime <gasps> soon. Just this is, sounds like a good plan. The Kiara oh. world tour, just <laughs> visiting all of the the countries you want to go to and just do a yeah. concert there and like get invited there, it's just like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please invite me. Conventions, do it. <laughs> do it, do it. I, I support. I support. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. Well. Okay. Very few time left for three more questions, but uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. You can do it. Ha, gambare mashou ne. Um, in addition to streaming, you also make music. Um, what does Taka, uh, what does Kiara-san write songs about? And what's your favorite song that you uh, maybe want to do more of in the future? Um, I, I, um, I don't really write the songs myself. I give input and and like a concept of what I want. So um. Hinotori, for example, was, um, I said I wanted it to be about motivation, strength, and fate, and not giving up. Um, that was kind of the, the theme of my first ever original song, Hinotori, which means uh, phoenix, by the way, in Japanese. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of um, my way of... of um, you know, showing how strong I can be because many people see me as a, a little bit dumb and and maybe <laughs> they even they? see me as, <laughs> as perverted, I guess, which I don't really see myself. Uh, I don't see myself as perverted, but they, they do. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so with Hinotori, I kind of wanted to show a different strong side of myself. And with my other a song that I released on Valentine's Day, I wanted to kind of show my love for Kelly um, and, and just love in general, courage to confess, for example, but courage in general and happiness and, and stuff like that. That was kind of the theme for High Challenger. And yeah, for the future, since those two songs were Japanese, I want to try to make an original song in English next. Oh. That is planned. And I hope everyone it's looking forward to it because I think it will be dope. Hmm. Nice too. I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day, uh, Kara and uh, Mori uh, Karaoke uh, Ellie, hmm. club. Wow, nice. <laughs> I love. I, I love that. <laughs> I yeah. I I think 
it, it must happen. We did a little song cover together before mm -hmm. that I organized. Uh, we have a song cover on my channel called Wild Wild World. Um, <laughs> so that was already super fun. I think it's just uh, a matter of time that me and Callie do something original together. Mm. All right, all right. Then um, I will fuse the uh, last two questions together because they both go in the, in the very same direction. So that's, that should be fine. Ah, okay. So at Digicomedy, there are many aspiring VTuber colleagues and maybe also viewers who would like to try streaming. Do you want to address a few words to them? For example, what, what kind of content do you look for? Or um, uh, maybe ad advice for people who are struggling with, to find success despite putting a lot of work as VTubers. Do we have some, some words for them or advice? Oh, yeah, I've, I've had uh, those kind of questions coming to me uh, during my streams as well before, and we talked about it uh, on my stream before. Um, I know out of personal experience that it can be very, very tough to only have, you know, zero to ten viewers. Um, I, I might be, I might have thousands of viewers nowadays, but... Uh, I have experience with a low viewership as well, and I know it's very, very tough to pull through. But um, the most important thing is to always keep on talking, even if you have zero viewers or one viewer, and you feel like it, it's not worth it. It doesn't make sense. Why am I even? Why am I even streaming right now when no one's listening? You have to always be talking, um, because when someone checks into your stream and you're currently being silent, then they will leave immediately. Uh, and I, I, I know it must be, it must be really tough. But if you keep on working hard, uh, it might take a lot of time. But eventually, you should get there. If if you really, if you know what you own, like what you wanna be, you have to also have like a, like a clear vision of what, who you wanna be, what you wanna become, and uh, where where you trying to get to. And I personally don't think it's good to have this goal of having 100k subscribers, 500k subscribers, whatever. Um, I know that's that's what a lot of uh, us always have as their goals because you you just want to be popular. That's just natural, I guess. But I feel like once you reach 100k, then you want the, the next thing. It's yes. never enough for you. You, you. you will never be satisfied. So rather than focusing on numbers, focus on your content and on your personality, on your character development, um, and and just having fun. Uh, it's It might be tough, but that is the most important thing. And don't forget your roots. Don't forget... Um, don't forget uh, who you once were. And, and, and yeah, that's very important. That's, uh, I think, wraps it up because we're la lacking time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's a very, very perfect closure to give this, this yeah, wholesomely, uh, wholesome, uh, um, re wow, I can't, I can't even, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but to um, just, just very, yeah, uh, warm advice to everyone out there. I think it's, I think they will definitely appreciate that and to, to learn from you, Tencho. <laughs> It mm. <laughs> has been a pleasure. Thank you so, so much for coming over, um, reaching out to all the hearts out there. And um, yeah, be part of Digicomi. We love to have you here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me, really. I had a great time today in, in two streams. And yes. it was an honor to be part of this. I was really excited to be part of the convention. Thank you so much for, for calling me over. And can I just say my, my end greeting to everyone? Sure. Because sure. <laughs> I forgot it in the other stream. Okay, everyone, are you ready? It's kind of awkward because we all speak... Okay, actually not this English stream. So we don't speak uh, old German here. So let's say it. And in German we say... Auf Wiedersehen. Thank you. Thank you. Auf Wiedersehen. Oh, I love that. I love that. Perfect. Yeah, I have a little bit of a, of a German something in my, in my streams. Mm. Good job. <laughs> Um, the next program is going gonna come up. It's actually maybe also something that might, you might appreciate because uh, Lumi Senpai is gonna perform a um, 3D concert now next um, in a yeah, full full motion um, uh, yeah model cool. and also a tracking. So it's gonna be exciting. Maybe we can uh, both learn something from that <laughs> um, for the future plans of Kiara. Um 
And um, so I'm, yeah, hope you stay around and uh, absolutely be hyped also for Lumi next. Uh, again, thank you so much, Kiara, for joining us. And I hope to see you again very soon, maybe in August or mm. we'll see. We'll see. I we'll hope make so it too. <laughs> thank you very much for this opportunity. Mm. And uh, check me out on YouTube, guys, if you don't know my channel yet. YouTube, yes. YouTube. Please follow Tenchu san on, on YouTube. Kiara Takanashi. <laughs> Go for it. Thank you. It. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Have a great bye -bye. day. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>